Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, so I'm giving you guys a six month or so update on my MPCNC since I built the machine. Uh, actually, could be a little bit longer. It is longer than six months actually. Um, so I learned a lot, and I'm still learning. And it wasn't until recently that. I decided to give the machine another try. This machine has been sitting for about a good portion of the time since I built it. And uh, nothing wrong with the machine. The machine works fine. It was uh, mostly me and not taking the correct path to fix the errors. And these are user errors and not machine errors. So uh, to start off was the first thing I did was when I was building the machine I wanted to make it look really really good uh, so what I did was I painted the rails all like with primer and painted them black you know just make it look kind of nice um, and these are just the regular conduit three quarter inch conduit uh, and uh, I did not want to buy solid uh, solid uh, uh, rails because they're super expensive, they're not cheap to come by, and you know to cut them to size and all that stuff is just a hassle. Just a hassle. So the conduits were fine. I just wanted to paint them black. Um, come to find out, worst idea ever. The one of the worst ideas I ever had. What was happening is as the machine as the machine is moving, what it was doing, it was chipping away against the paint and the primer. And it was gunking up the the uh, the um, the ball bearings. It was just it was skipping, jumping. It was just doing some weird stuff. It was getting stuck. It was not moving very fluid as it needs to be. And then uh, one thing I didn't do, I didn't square my machine properly. So there was a lot of adjustment that I did from the beginning you know try to like fix uh, try to get it squared and all that stuff it just was not squared correctly and you know no matter what I did was you know try to adjust one one corner try to adjust another corner it was just not working it you know it was just getting off and uh, I was just I had enough so I was like you know what I'm not touching it anymore it was a waste of money I shouldn't have never, I shouldn't have done it and you know I just left it alone. Then until recently that I was like you know what since I have the money invested in it let me figure it out and do it correctly. So the first thing I did was I disassembled the entire thing. I stripped the paint off the PVC uh, of the um, conduit pipes. Uh, another mistake I made the legs I made them really really short so I was so what was happening is as the uh, the rattle was moving up, it was coming off the rail, so it was not stable. It was a lot of moving. So I made this long longer than what I had. I had it at four inches. Now it's at sitting at seven inches, which is perfect. Um, and then I took my time squaring the platform. I square like I quadruple measured making sure everything was correct the numbers matched everything was squared off once I had that done I put everything back together I did it you know without the motor on without the motors uh, without the belts making sure everything's fluid nothing is getting stuck um, so I did that second mistake that I had made was making sure my surface is flat now I did not flatten the surface because you know what I was using a table which was very very flat pretty flat from what from what I saw from eyesight measuring and all that so it was it was very fairly flat but obviously it wasn't so and the reason I believe is because I had this strapped on to uh, I have this strapped on to individual pieces to the corner of the table so the, ta the table wasn't really uh, 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 flat so one side was a little bit higher than the other side 
so it was causing a lot of uh, like if I was trying to do flatten the piece it was digging in in areas that it shouldn't be digging in so it was just a complete mess so what I did was I took a piece of uh, steel rod that goes across the table so if one side goes up the other side is not going to tilt every it, it's pretty solid but that's not going to solve the problem so what I next I had to do was to flatten my uh, um, my board to make sure anything I put on this board is actually sitting on a flat surface to the system itself so I flattened the top I make sure this was squared and I ran the crown test not with a pen but with a router and by god it came out great it worked. God, it came out great it worked and again as as I explained I'm an amateur I'm uh, uh, I'm not an expert in this but the v1 engineering uh, forum bunch of I can't say enough good things about these people how supportive they are um, the third issue was the software the software, so these these machines are run on Merlin, and um, I was using Easel to do some of my stuff, and it was not it wasn't uh, functioning properly. It would take forever for the machine get to its point where it needs to start cutting and carving or whatnot. It would just take forever. It would just crawl. No matter how much I mess with the setting, it was just crawling, and then. Uh, I decided to, and, and easel was $25 a month, mind you. So I decided to do a little bit more digging, go through the forum. This, by the way, guys, if you haven't used the forum, use the forum. The forum is amazing. There's a lot of information out there. There's a lot of guys like me who don't know what they're doing and they become experts at the end of the day. I'm still not an expert. I'm still an amateur. I'm trying to learn this, you know, one step at a time. Um, I signed up with uh, uh, Carvco, and I, that's about ten dollars a month for like the basic. I didn't get the plus. Uh, I'm because I'm still playing around with it, and reading through the forum. Uh, initial installation doesn't give you the files that would uh, it's kind of compatible to this board that I'm using the Merlin board um, so I reached out to them and kudos to them they got back to me almost within an hour after I sent them an email uh, they will send you two extensions uh, to basically when you save your project you could save it into this uh, Merlin uh, G code and they have two of them so uh, I saved it to both extensions, and one of them worked. I can't remember exactly which one, but I will uh, I will put in the description which one actually worked. And what it does is it actually just goes to the location quickly, starts doing its thing, and uh, it worked flawlessly. Um, I'm still trying to learn this machine as far as the I need to learn Carvco a little bit better as far as like how much it drops, you know, the feed rate and all that stuff. Every all the information that you need is in the forums. Uh, now the forums are not uh, they're not very specific on uh, on software. The uh, there are two softwares that they have mentioned, but you know it's not end all be all. There are other softwares, but you need to make sure it's compatible with the board itself for it to function correctly. Um, Carvco, apparently it seems to be working with this board and you know, uh, I wouldn't know until I run a little bit more tests and I will definitely provide updates 
as far as these tests go to see how they come out. Um, but other than that, I definitely recommend this for anybody who wants to start off and they don't have thousands of dollars to throw at a CNC machine. Only reason I say this is because of the size that you could build these machines. Um, you could build them as small as you want, you could build them as large as you want. Uh, the cost will be almost the same. Uh, minus the fact that you know if you know if definitely if you're gonna go for a longer uh, uh, longer piece or a larger piece you would definitely need some support system for the railing because it will kinda uh, bow down because of the weight so but again if you go look through the forum if you look through some of the YouTube channels a uh, bunch of genius individuals out there that have figured out what to do to basically circumvent that issue you know for the pipes not to bend down you know figured it all out I'm telling you uh, there's a lot of smart people out there so um, yeah so let me know what you think guys let me know if I uh, if I should uh, do anything else to make sure this thing is cutting correctly but so far I've run two tests and everything so far it seems to be a-okay and you know definitely flatten your your surface top making sure all is good before you move on to the next step and you know if you have any questions please leave it down in the comments I will try to get back to you as soon as I can um, it does take a lot of practice it does, it, does, it will take a lot of trial and error for me at least some of you guys will be like a plug and play type of thing get it going the first day and you know you don't have to mess with it for about six months so but anyways if you have questions please leave it down below I will also put a link to the forum to the V1 engineering team um, and again kudos great product peace out